and the swap sides. So a 490 minutes gets underway already. Some sprinting. Getting into it. Kalen Bradley will get things going up for Army West Point on this beautiful Saturday night. And we are underway under the lights here at Malik as it'll go out and create a throw-in opportunity for Navy. Right now here in West Point, New York, according to AccuWeather, 61 degrees. We'll take that every time on a mid-October night. Here in the fall, not much wind to speak of, five mile per hour wind gusts as a whistle and a foul charged against the midshipmen. That's the first they've been called for this evening. Both these teams coming off of shutout wins on Wednesday, Army 1-0 over Lafayette. Navy a 1-0 advantage over American. Both teams were at home on Wednesday night. Emma Ritchie at Army's lone goal in that contest against the Leopards will let it fly in the direction of the net, but wide right. And it'll be a goal kick coming up for Matty Gallagher and Navy. Talk so much about the offensive stalwarts on both teams, but Matty Gallagher has been as good, if not the best, keeper in uh, the Patriot League so far this season. The junior from Gilbertsville, Pennsylvania, already five at shutouts on the campaign. Entered play today, leading the league in goals against average saves and save percentage, while also first in saves per game. So Army will have a tough task trying to get the ball past Matty Gallagher tonight from just inside the 18 in the direction of the goal, batted around a loose ball, and oh, what a diving play! Right on cue by Matty Gallagher. And a premature cannon firing from somewhere in the distance here on the campus of the U.S. Military Academy. Dangerously close to the first score of the night, and it was Gallagher who made the marvelous play to save the day as Navy's first shot attempt looked like a good field goal. Tad bit high, and it'll be a goal kick coming up for West Point. That was a trend a little bit for Army on uh, Wednesday night against Lafayette, a one at nothing win over the Leopards, but it wasn't as close as the score dictated. Army dominated the possession, had the ball 61% of the second half, and outshot the Leopards 21-2. If it wasn't for some great saves by Newman and Dewar in the Leopard goal, could have been a much more lopsided final. An Army controlling the tempo here in the early going. Both teams playing at a very fast pace. A lot of adrenaline on both sides in this rivalry matchup. As it'll roll out along the goal line, it'll be a goal kick coming up for Gallagher and Navy. And I mentioned the mids coming off a one nothing shutout, they got off to a marvelous start this season. They were picked to finish first. in the Patriot League preseason poll, reigning uh, rookie of the year in the league, Alexa Riddle. They've had their fair shares of peaks and valleys so far this season, but they are still uh, quite talented. One of the better defenses in the circuit in Navy going up against one of the elite offenses for the Black Knights. Dawson playing it over. Herman feeding to the near side. Riddle, Riddle trying to center it, but just through the legs and wide of Jenna Daunt. And Army will control it up along the far side of the pitch. Black Knights leaking up that right side. They attack that side a lot on Wednesday night. Navy wins the race. That one not quite Struck well off the foot of Navy's keeper Gallagher. That one sent from just outside the 18 wide left by the Black Knights. And ends up staying in along the end line where it will be played by Kiefer Williamson of the midshipmen. Mentioned quickly in our open, Navy has won the last three in this series. A uh, convincing win. In Annapolis last year, a 3-1 triumph. Navy 3-0-0 in their last three meetings against Army. And you look at the last several years dating back to 2014, Navy 6-1-2 in this rivalry series. But Army ahead of the mids in the table for the Patriot League coming into tonight after today. Navy with three games left on the schedule, one non-conference 
Army with just two left. And that's where Army's bid for the number one seed comes into play. Their final two matches this season against the two teams ahead of them in the standings, BU and Bucknell. Urkov trying to lead her teammate Drysdale up along the right flank. Drysdale didn't score on Wednesday, but she was everywhere. Six shots and two on goal. Tries to center one from the far flank, but Navy able to knock it down and send it towards the far side where Lindsey Smith keeps it in. A high line drive shot to flex off the foot of Dara Murray. And finally sent back up the other direction by Sadie McCaleb. McCaleb received a lot of praise from her legendary head coach, Gabera on Wednesday night. McCaleb making just the first start of her senior season, providing some key defense for the midshipmen with American making a late push as that'll go out. There'll be a goal kick up coming for Navy. A little more than five minutes gone by here on this Saturday night. Our annual Star Game 2022 Star Series as always presented by USAA. Gallagher will let it fly off that right foot. Joust at the center of the pitch. Played back from the back line by Kira Vesey. Vesey been on Sports Center this year with one of her elite goals against Loyola. Dara Murray able to get away from the pack, but well defended by the midshipman's Tatum Kelly. Gifted young sophomore. Part of Gabera's elite underclassman group. Murray trying to find an angle to feed it through. A ricochet away off the lower body of Williamson. Fallen wider. She's picked up her offensive output lately as a shot at seven of her last nine matches, including coming oh so close to a goal in the win on Wednesday. There'll be a goal kick up coming for Navy. Army leading 2-1 in shots. One shot on goal for the Black Knights so far. Only foul in this game has been committed by the midshipmen. It's been a tightly contested star series so far this year. You saw it on our opening graphic through the first six star matchups this year. Army has three wins. Navy has three wins. But looking at the soccer pitch, it was last weekend in Chester, Pennsylvania, where the Army men completed a 2-0 shutout at Navy. The women trying to do the same on their home pitch here today. Lindsey Smith had a great game on Wednesday night, trying to play keep away from Herman on the far side. Defended well, and McCaleb boots it up the left side with her foot, and that one will go out and a throw in. Left-footed attempt there by McCaleb to clear. Could not stay in bounds. Navy and Army. Series tied all time here. Now West Point 5-5-4. Five, five, and four. Navy leading the all-time series in their home confines. Army leads the all-time series in neutral matchups. It's interesting looking at it. Last time Army beat Navy was in a colossally important game. Last time Army knocked off their service academy rivals wasn't a star match, but they defeated Navy in overtime in the Patriot League quarterfinals back in 2018. Fortunately for the Black Knights, Navy would get some retribution. In the championship game the next year, BC fires it up the far side, looking for Kalen Bradley. Great slide tackle. Army had so many clean ones against the Leopards on Wednesday. Part of that defense and back line, Tracy Chow was so proud of in their effort in the shutout victory. Black Knight still in control of possession. Great read by Fallen Wider to take it away. Flips it high, arcing towards the goal and just over the crossbar. And into a swarm of fans just outside of the field of play. Another shot attempt from Fallen Wider. Make that eight in her last, or has won in eight of her last 10 contests. And that one just maybe two feet or so too high to bang in off the top bar. Fallen Wider. Tracy Chow started her career at Army under strange circumstances. It only took the job about 26 days before the first game of the COVID-shortened 
21 season. And all she has done is since taking over the post here at West Point is continue to uh, develop this program as Navy almost winning a race with Alexa Riddle and they might have called some contact and there was a little bit of contact between Riddle and the keeper Stroman. Riddle tried her best to avoid but a whistle and it'll be a goal kick coming up for Stroman. We'll let it fly from uh, the top half of the arc. Headed back towards Navy's attacking third. Army will play it back to try and resituate. But Ritchie ends up flinging it towards the direction of Navy's pink pinnied bench. A throw in for the mids along the far side. Controlled by Riddle. No relation, by the way, to Andrea Riddle, just as far as we know, on the Army West Point side. This one played by Daunt, ricochets wide. Williamson trying to chase it down, but Dara Murray able to get there first. Ends up clearing it out along the near side. It'll be a throw in for the midshipman. Well played defensively by Army. Navy with some of their best extended possession time in the first half, but there over aggressive was Jordan Townsend, the freshman. Call for the foul, it'll be a free kick coming up for Army. You see Townsend, a right hand on the back of the Black Knight player. And the infraction, an easy call. Navy coming into play today. Sixth in fouls per game, just over eight and a half for contest. Army forced Lafayette into quite a bit, well above their season average on Wednesday night. Smith. Trying to get it through a defender. The Navy able to intercept, but an errant pass goes out along the far side. We've seen that a few times here so far. Some uh, mistouched passes from both teams. Adrenaline, nerves, I'm sure a big part of what these players are feeling in front of a capacity crowd here at Malik. All the bleachers taken, and pretty much every spot around the black chain link fences that encompass Malik and Clinton Fields. <laughs> Bodies lining almost every inch from goalpost to goalpost. You love to see it, the support, not only from uh, the fellow Army cadets, but their families. The fans that came out to the football game today, and as well as the midshipmen friends and family that have made their way up here in a hostile territory. A throw in for Navy. Great throw up along the far side. Riddle trying to box out her defender. Just flings it in the direction of the goal. But well, this one will roll far towards the near sideline. It'll die before it goes out. And Army wins the race. Well done by Jordan Fallenweider. Almost 15 minutes in. No score. Army. Three shots to Navy's one. Well played again along the far side for the Black Knights, trying to leak out with numbers. Nybish playing it back. Kalen Bradley, like a Navy defender, got a body on it. Changed the direction, slowed down the velocity off Bradley's foot and made for an easier play made by Gallagher. Bradley. Taking her chance about 30 feet or so out. The throw in for Army. Up along the near side. An absolutely fantastic crowd here tonight. In a busy day at West Point, in a busy weekend with athletics. And everyone isn't tired yet. Smith. Trying to put it on in the direction of the goal. Sliding was Bradley at the top of the six. No whistle. And it will go wide out along the goal line. The Army crowd trying it to will a whistle to be called. But Kaylin Bradley with her second excellent try in the last couple of seconds. But Army nothing to show for it here in the first 15. Great play by Smith. Great ball. Thought was in no man's land. Williamson defensively on Bradley. And a whistle, and Bradley, no, they call it on Navy. Jordan Townsend called for the whistle as she and Bradley went to play it off their head. Thankfully, no noggin knockers. 
That'll be a free kick for Army. Saw the Black Knights put one in the direction of the goal from about this far out. In the first couple of minutes, Kira Vesey has a goal from about 30 yards away earlier this year in Baltimore against Loyola. Vesey, ball in the direction of the goal, but a nice leaping snare by Gallagher. An excellent ball played by Kira Vesey. Well, as we said at the start, did not play in Army's win on Wednesday night. Showing no signs of rust after having the day off. Gifted sophomore from Rocky River, Ohio. First contest she had missed all season. As this one played out along the near side by Katie Herman. The another throw in upcoming for West Point. DC, not only a well arced ball, but incredibly accurate. Maybe an inch or two taller would have been a tougher play for Gallagher and goal. Bradley working against Williamson. Trying to keep it in along the end goal line. Williamson able to muscle her way to possession. Try to clear it, but Izzy Fontana keeps it alive for Army. Fallenwider trying to slide it to a teammate and able to keep possession with the Black Knights as Izzy Fontana took it. VC miscommunication, but nicely done by Drysdale Smith trying to get to it, but can't win the race. It'll be a throw in for Navy in front of the Black Knight bench. Navy trying to push the tempo. Well defended on the throw in for the Black Knights. Ends up in the grasp of Herman. Herman looking for Riddle. Riddle well defended by VC. Some lower body contact, but they play on. And Riddle a little slow to get up. Back on the back line for Navy. Urkov right side of the 18. Trying to sprint to the outside looking for an angle to cross. But a nice slide tackle by Navy, and the Black Knights will have the first corner kick of the match. It was on the corner from Dara Murray at about the 36th minute in the first half on Wednesday night. That found Emma Ritchie at the far post for the Black Knights' only goal. It'll be Nybish from the far flag to Gallagher's left. Let's it fly, outswinging ball headed by Bradley, too high and wide left. Well sent out, swinging ball on the corner by Nybish, but Bradley just could not angle it off her head and into the back of the nylon. Corner kicks have been one of the strong points for Tracy Chow's club here in 2022. Not another example uh, as a bit too handsy, Dara Murray trying to leap over Dawson for the header. An infraction called against Army. That's the first foul against the Black Knights. First four were called against Navy. Back it up, back it up. Navy trying to move that ball up a little bit. On the officials saying back it up a little bit further. Borden will let it fly on the free kick, trying to get it behind the defense. And a head attempt by Townsend rolls out along the end line. That'll be a goal kick upcoming for Sage Stroman and the Black Knights. Stroman has started the last 13 for Army in the midst of a marvelous stretch in goal. We talked about how good Maddie Gallagher has been for Navy this year. Well, Sage Stroman has been no slouch in her own right. Last six matches, Army 4-1-1 one, and one with her in goal. Only two goals allowed on 48 shots faced in the last six matchups for the Black Knights. Drysdale, the first captain of the Corps of Cadets here at West Point. One of the co-captains on this team has it taken away by Dawson. Neither team with firm control on Army's attacking third. But Herman comes away from the fray with possession. Dawson trying to lead it for Riddle, but sent it too far. It'll be run down by VC, heading back in the direction of the West Point goal. Nice light touch by Nybish. Didn't get it much, just off her ankle. But it was in a perfect place for Dara Murray to help set up Army offensively. 20 minutes in. Black Knights and Navy are scoreless in our annual star game. Army in control of the tempo so far, out shooting their service academy rivals 
Six to one. Richie over to the far side, Lindsey Smith. Bradley playing it back to Smith. Army trying to work that right side. Smith tried to find a way to get it between two Navy defenders. And some body contact deflected in the other direction. Far side, Nivish. Nivish try to get it back to Drysdale, but she wasn't paying attention. And Navy will try and get it out along the far side, but the mids have a player there. But Navy gives it away quickly to the Black Knights. Bradley. Along the far side, Smith using her speed, trying to set it up for her teammate, the far post, but run down by Gallagher. Picking it up on a couple of hops. And Navy can clear it back in the other direction. Gallagher talked about her impressive season. Didn't see the whole lot of offensive looks from Smith on Wednesday night. Nearly a marvelous ball to start the scoring today. Bradley, good touch back to Smith. And Army's back line, Nivish trying to get it behind her back. Army bench, I think, was trying to say that one clanged off the hand of a Navy defender, but an official didn't see it. Herman, headed back by Fallenweider. Talked about Navy's offensive woes. Just three goals in their last three matchups and just three in their last five matches dating back to September the 21st. But Army been so good offensively, they've scored just two goals in their last three matches and three in their last four. Have not scored twice in one match since non-league play. That was against Boston College, a 2-2 draw in Chestnut Hill. So both these teams have found it a little more difficult to find the back of the net in league play, but nothing to be unexpected. As each team giving everyone their best on a given night. That's something you heard from both coaches. As that'll go out along the far side, throw in for Army. Both Gabera and Chow talking about how American and Lafayette just gritted and grinded and made nothing easy for their teams. Navy and Army, two of the best in the Patriot League this year. Coming into play today, Lafayette and American were eighth and ninth out of 10 in the league. As you see the contact there between Borden, looked to be Nibish, and the foul against Navy. It'll be a free kick for Army up along the far side. High arcing shot just inside the 18, headed out towards the wide right. Drysdale trying to get there ahead of Daunton does, looking for an angle to corner. And this one high in the air by Murray and headed away by someone on Navy's back line. Run down there by the midshipman's Williamson. Will be another throw in for Army. Another great look from the Black Knights, really trying to focus on that right side as their starting point. Murray. Trying to switch it up from uh, the weak side. Trying to keep it in along the goal line. Actually a smart play by Murray. Just played it off the foot of Navy and creates a corner kick opportunity for the Black Knights in which they have been so good. Murray from the near flag. It was Nybish from the far side before. Murray now from the near side. Gallagher's right. Murray in swinging kick towards the far post headed out. By the top of the 16, Smith keeps it on the ground. Trying to find the net is Drysdale too hard. <laughs> Upwards and to the left. And another great opportunity for the Black Knights off a corner kick. Already their seventh shot in the first half. Drysdale wasn't an easy play. Had to control it. Try and make a spinning shot in the direction of the net. Well, they're back facing towards it. Not a great goal kick from Gallagher. It'll be a throw in for Army along the near side. Fallen wider to do the duties. Army, better play today, tied for second in the league. 13 points, two back of BU for first place. Fontana, nice read and a touch. 
put Navy back on their heels in their defensive third. Jenna Daunt has had some good touches on the offensive end for Navy today. As we said, the mid's just one shot. That belongs to Alexa Riddle. Graziano, the goal against the Black Knights last year. Looking to find Riddle. A well played defensively by Fallen Wider. Army in the home whites, Navy in, well, Navy. We are on a gorgeous Saturday in October in West Point, New York, as Graziano plays it out. There'll be another throw in for Army. Fallen Wider to throw in. Played by Urkov back to Fallen Wider. Trying to chip it in the direction of Nivish. Replayed by Smith. Looking for Bradley. Bradley making a move to the inside. Bradley trying to send it back out to the right. And Smith, Smith an angle for a cross. And that one hits off the net on the far side of the post. Rather the near side post from where Smith shot far side if you're looking from our vantage point here on ESPN Plus. And Army keeping the pressure on Navy. I mentioned 21 shots in the victory over Lafayette on Wednesday night, already up to eight in 25 plus minutes today. Nivish, after the header by Drysdale, left something behind, but able to read control. Fontana. Going back to Lindsey Smith. Bradley, the shadows up by the Black Knight bench. And Urkov trying to get a touch to a teammate. Clang too hard off the ankle and out. Played about 27 or so minutes so far today. Still no substitutions, although it looks like Army will make one at the next whistle. Riddle. Trying to leak away from the pack over towards the center and try to find her teammate, but well played defensively by the co-captain Emma Ritchie. Williamson falls, got her hand on the ball, no whistle, and the crowd letting the officials know it, but they play on. Dawson up along the right flank, trying to angle it to the far post, but nobody home. Riddle and Bradley chasing it down. Riddle wins the race. Riddle. Playing it back to Herman, finding Graziano, and cleared out by Emma Ritchie. Look out on Clinton Place. And there you go. Clear as day, right in front of us. Off the right hand of Williamson. You wonder if part of the reason they let it fly was the contact beforehand that sent Williamson and Army to the turf. Herman. Out of the fray with it, still inside this 18. Batted around, a joust for it, Ritchie. Now Daunt sends it wide left. Who touched it last will be a corner, a goal kick. It's going to be a corner upcoming for the midshipmen, their first. Great opportunities, Navy's best of the night. Inside the 18, Daunt able to get it off her left foot. Hard to tell who it grazed last. Graziano will have the honors on the corner kick. Plays it out to the far, uh, far edge of the 18. Shot deflected in front of the goal. And finally cleared back down the other direction by Army. It's going to be a race here. But the keeper, Gallagher, ready for it. Boots it back in the other direction. Or it's played out off the head of Dara Murray. It'll be a throw in for Navy. The Black Knights withstanding the midshipmen's best offensive onslaught today. More shots in that possession than they had in the first 25 or so minutes. Fallen wider. Along the near side. Looking to get it back to the strong end of the pitch at Kalen Bradley. Bradley. Lays it over to Nybich. Looking to get it back to Bradley. Well defended by Navy. Played out along the far side. So here is our first substitution. Jasmine Talley will come into the match. Elise Urkov will take a breather. Talley, junior from Corona, California. 
Good soccer bloodlines. Her older sister, Jada, former all Pac-12 first team member at Arizona. After a couple of headers, possession taken by McCaleb, and Army ends up re-retrieving it along the far end of the 18. We'll roll out along the end line, and the Black Knights will have their third corner kick of the first half. Inside, 15 minutes remaining. Here in the first 45. Madison, Nybish. Nybish will uh, send it from the far flag to Gallagher's left. Nybish, out swinging ball, trying to find the head of Drysdale on the foot of Lindsey Smith, deflected wide, and will be sent out along the side. And a throw in upcoming for Army West Point. Great play by Navy to prevent a potential corner kick opportunity for the Black Knights, in which they've had three good looks. Throw in for Fallen Wider. Double teamed along the end line of the Black Knights, but Army keeps possession inside the 18, but a whistle and a foul go against the Black Knights. And a free kick up coming for Navy. Army keeping the pressure. Leading basically all the offensive categories so far. Although the most important one, a goal category remains even, nil-nil on both sides. Navy looking for a counter. Riddle working against Smith. Nice play by Lindsey Smith, the local girl, and again comes away with a big slide tackle, not only on Riddle, but Townsend too. Lindsey Smith doesn't show up a whole lot in the stat sheet. Oh boy, has she been as impressive as any player on Army's back line. There, one with the right foot on Riddle. Stays upright, Townsend trying to get there. Nope. And kept it away with the left. Jordan Townsend. Riley Reeves in for the first time today. Jordan Townsend will sit down. Reeves, a sophomore from Arlington, Texas. Risedale off part of her head and then Tally tripped up by Williamson. Another whistle against Navy. That is the sixth foul. They have been called for in the first half. Average about eight and a half per game. That has been uh, what Army has done at least the last two times out, forcing a, a lot of physical play from their opponent. And giving themselves some set piece chances off free kicks and the like. Kira Vesey raises her right hand, boots it away inside the 18, and sent wide out of uh, Navy's defensive third by Chloe Dawson. Riddle controls it back towards the center of the pitch. Sends it to Herman. Trying to find Dawson up along the right flank. Dawson playing back towards the center of the pitch. Headed away towards the right by Ritchie. And taken by Lauren Drysdale. Nearing about 10 minutes remaining. Here in the first half, Army and Navy are scoreless. The annual star match. Here from West Point, Navy winning the one last year. A 3-1 tally. Herman, right side gets it to Graziano. Right by that center stripe. Graziano playing it towards the center, trying to chip it ahead for Riddle. Uh, Riddle had to turn her head and that allowed Stroman some extra time to scoop it up. Stroman. Powerful right foot. Herman able to slow it down. Riddle. Navy's defense, our offensive side of the center field stripe, but a whistle against Army. Rare infraction against the Black Knights in the first half. It'll be uh, Cassidy Borden to uh, let it fly away. Borden keeps it on the turf. McCaleb, deep shot from about 40 uh, yards out. Wide left 
Well, there'll be a goal kick upcoming for the Black Knights. Bridget Duffy coming in for Nybish. See a goal kick upcoming for Stroman. Duffy on the Army soccer team and the Army lacrosse team. Her athletic season does not end when the Patriot League and college soccer season comes to a close. Was a record setting player in both sports back in her high school days. Holds the high school record for single season goals and also holds the career assists record on the soccer pitch. Bradley along the far side inside the final 10 of the first half. The throw in for Navy along the far side. Navy beginning to have their way a little bit more in terms of tempo and possession in the last 10 minutes of game time. Some whistles. It's like waiting for Borden to adjust her equipment and now uh, the midshipman will make a sub. Jenna Daunt will come out. Cat Healy. Caitlin Pelian will check in as well for the Black Knights. Cat Healy has come on for the midshipmen. Kara Murray will sit down for West Point. Good strong throw in headed back towards that sideline. And McCaleb a little bit of physicality there called for the push. And Army will have a free kick deep inside their defensive third. Eight to four in favor of Army with shots. Two nothing and shots on goal. Three one Army in corner kicks as well. Army came through with their only goal on Wednesday in the 36th minute. A little bit past that here. Riddle shot again turned away with the legs of Lindsey Smith. Drysdale trying to fight through a crowd. Another whistle against Navy. More. Marvelous defense from Lindsey Smith. Valley Stream, New York, went to Valley Stream South High School. Incredibly close by here in New York State. As a whistle will go against Army there as bodies continue to hit the deck. Physical style of play in this rivalry matchup. Borden will let it go for Navy. Sends it towards the left side. Played by Ritchie and the Black Knights. Palian able to find Bradley. And a blatant whistle on Chloe Dawson is arguing. I'm not sure where the argument could come from. She was grabbing her left shoulder and pulling. It'll be a free kick here for Army and Kira Vesey. And her powerful right foot, another physical play there, but no call this time on Reeves. Smith with a quick left foot. And may be able to get it back. Ford into the grasp of Mimi Abishan. Had the assist on the midshipmen's only goal on Wednesday night. Angled towards the net. Uh, right into the grasp of Sage Stroman uh, at the far post. Six and a half remaining. Here in the first half, Army and Navy are scoreless. Stroman lets it fly. Duffy. Working against Kelly. Ford off the leg of Dawson. Fallenweider able to take it away. Fallenweider. Going to get it out to the far side. Tally. They get it back to Izzy Fontana. Try getting it to a teammate. Sneaking down the far side. But to no avail. Five and a half minutes left. Here in the half, temperature continuing to drop. 
Here at West Point, temperatures now below into the 50s. The weather, hard to complain about what Mother Nature has given us today. Start of the afternoon at Mikey Stadium to this evening here at Malik. The throw in for Army up along the far side, Lindsey Smith. Nybish, another that was Duffy had it played away. Smith able to get around one defender, working that right side. Try to play it around another into the grasp of Drysdale, trying to get to the inside and cleared out along the far end by Reeves and Navy. Will be a throw in for Army inside, five left in the first half. I have some feature stories for you coming up at the half here on ESPN Plus. Justin Rock with you. And it'll be a corner kick for Army as it ends up out along the end line. Army West Point with what will be their fourth corner of the first half. Lauren Drysdale it'll be a will take the duties. Lauren Drysdale attempting. Gallagher, the keeper, be to her left-hand side. Outswinging ball through the legs of Nybish. Rather, that's Duffy. Duffy trying to play keep away from Riddle. Gets it over to Tally. Tally trying to get it through a crowd. Well, it's spilled back in the other direction where it's run down by Lindsey Smith. Inside, four to go. In the first half, scoreless match. Great night started with a tandem effort by the parachute teams here at West Point and Navy. Proving that while this rivalry is vociferously fierce on the pitch and on the courts, on the fields, doesn't matter what sport, still a lot of camaraderie in the professional ranks. Duffy looking for Paley in, puts it in the back of the net! Puts it in the back of the goal, her fourth of the season. Her first since the Lehigh game. And the Black Knights with three minutes left in the first half take a 1-0 lead. Now you can fire off the cannons. Little premature in the first couple of minutes. Army had a late goal in the first half on Wednesday against Lafayette. More of the same magic. Here in the first half on Saturday, Navy looking for a counter before the break. Bridget Duffy, the freshman to the junior Palian, and Palian got it to the left of Gallagher, right in that bottom left 90. And Caitlin Palian with a big one. Now Navy looking for an answer, but a tad bit wide of Tori Leeson, who has just checked in. This one towards the net. Oh, just high by Abisham. Almost the equalizer in less than a minute. Somehow, not sure where the deflection came, but it'll be a corner kick for Navy. Take a look at it here. And maybe off the legs of the Army defender in front of Abisham. Mids unfazed by the Black Knight goal, looking for an answer. From the near flag towards the far post, piled it up, trying to get it over the head of the defense was Abisham again, and this time too high. Didn't have a great angle. Had her back mostly facing towards the net had she put it home. Would have been a conversation for the Sports Center top play of the day. Inside, two minutes left in the first half. Stroman will boot it from atop the 18. Headed in the direction of Army's offensive goal. Duffy in a race is going to win it. Duffy along the near side looking to the far post. Too wide, but Drysdale trying to run it down, and she will. Drysdale towards the opposite post. Oh, on top of the net. An outstanding hustle by Lauren Drysdale to even give the Black Knights a chance there. 
Both teams, a plethora of excitement with chances on both ends. Arming a 1-0 lead with a minute left to go here in the first half. The goal of the 42nd minute to give the Black Knights the advantage. Ball and wider as it deflected. Dawson still rattles around. Fontana. Ball and wider. Nice slide tackle by Navy and Herman. But they'll play it back to the keeper and Stroman. About 30 seconds left. Bradley trying to box out a Navy defender in Dawson. Fallen wider at 23 seconds. Black Knights aren't taking anything for granted. Fallen wider continuing to push, try to get it. Finds Tally. Tally atop the 18, knocked away to the left side. Army still has time. Kalen Bradley inside 10 seconds to the far post looking for help. Batted up in the air by Navy again and placed on the foot of the Black Knights. And at the 42nd minute, Army strikes first. We are through the first half here under the lights at Clinton Field and Malik Stadium. Thanks to a marvelous play by Bridget Duffy and Caitlin Palian. The capacity crowd at West Point has had a lot to cheer about after 45. Black Knights one of these teams have been able to put on a show in front of a swarm of Army and Navy fans in our latest edition in uh, the Star Series presented by USAA. Navy will start the second half in possession. Army a 1-0 lead. Palian from Duffy in the 42nd minute of the first half. As we mentioned, Army out shooting Navy 9-6 in the first. 3 nothing in shots on goal. Army 4-2 in favor and corner kicks. Navy called for nine fouls in the first half. That's already more than the average per game this season. Army did the same to Lafayette in their win on Wednesday night. Borden over the near side and McCaleb. Navy up along the near side. Graziano well defended by Lindsey Smith. And Drysdale trying to play it back, but a Navy player there. That's Abishan. Didn't get the start tonight. Has played a lot of good minutes. And the final few minutes of the first half, some physical contact they play on. Trying to find an angle. Puts it towards the goal, but wide from the right post. One of Navy's best looks. And the midshipman starting hot in the second half. And they will start where they left off with the corner kick. After Army scored in the final three minutes of the first, Navy came roaring back, had a great opportunity right before the break. And you know, Karen Gabera's team had a fire lit underneath them during intermission. Off the left foot of Graziano, in-swinging ball, and Sage Stroman in that highlighter yellow kit comes swarming out of the fray to take it and snuff out an opportunity for the midshipman. Two minutes gone by in the second half. Beautiful in-swinging ball by Graziano. And Sage Stroman working up against the midshipman front line. Would not let that one out of her mitts. Drysdale playing it up the right side at Jasmine Talley. Drysdale. Over to Palian. Back to Tally. Tally looking to cross it towards the near post. Duffy couldn't get there. And Navy keeps it in barely along the end line. What a feed it attempted to get to Graziano will roll out in front of one of our cameras. Smith the throw in. This Black Knight team, as you mentioned, has not defeated Navy since 2018. For those keeping track, that means this Army class, each one haven't been able to knock off their service academy foes. Of course, the pandemic year 2020-21 created some extra challenges in getting that game scheduled, let alone played. And Karen Gabera's team Leads the all-time series 
And the Black Knights continuing to improve year after year after year. Right now lead their rivals after about 50 minutes of action as a miscommunication and Navy's defensive third creates a throw in opportunity for Army up along the near side. Seen some physical play, one of the few mistakes we've seen from either side today is a nice takeaway by Herman of the midshipmen. Looking to find Riddle over Shotter at Tad. And Riddle with a big left-handed shiver and an immediate whistle. Riddle, a little forearm shove to Fallen Wider. A hit from uh, Riddle there that would have made Diego Fago proud. It'll be a free kick for Army just on their side of the center circle. Army will let it fly. Hangs off the torso of Kelly. Ends up on the foot of Drysdale to Palian. Plays it to her left. Up top towards Izzy Fontana. Working around uh, towards the weak side, trying to get it to Duffy. Led her a bit too much. Run down by Williamson, and it'll be another throw in for Army. This time along the far flank. Black Knights, after Navy got some initial looks out of the break, beginning to reestablish themselves in the second half. Drysdale amongst a crowd, and it'll be a corner kick upcoming for the Black Knights. Their first of the second half, fifth of the match. Black Knight corner. Dara Murray, Murray over at the far flag. To Gallagher's right. Murray. Out swinging ball towards the top of the six. Headed out by Navy. Drysdale looking for Smith. Smith working against Borden. A strong right footed shot wide to the near post. That'll be a goal kick for the midshipmen. Another great look by Lindsey Smith through traffic. <laughs> Doesn't have a ton of shots this season. That's just the sixth one she's taken. Boy, has she had an outstanding defensive performance here today. One of the unsung heroes of Tracy Chow's beloved back line. Pally. Beautiful job to cut in front of McCaleb and set up Drysdale. Drysdale looking to get it back to Tally. Tally colliding with Borden. And Borden able to stay upright and take it away. That one chipped towards the end line, stays in. Tally, and they say she touched it when it went out. Great hustle by Jasmine Tally. And Navy's back line as well, not to give up on that play. And very nearly. A great opportunity for Tally from a near impossible angle. Gallagher, the far end of the six. Daunt, uh, taken away. Drysdale leading Tally right side. Tally tripped up by Borden and then a late whistle. A late whistle on Borden as Jasmine Talley went on the deck. I think Talley wanted a penalty kick call, but the slide tackle from Borden came just outside the 18. And instead of a penalty kick opportunity for the Black Knights, it'll be Dara Murray on a free kick. Maybe a few blades of grass outside of the 18-yard box. Army West Point trying to add some cushioning to a one goal lead. Murray from the near 90 of the 18. Murray towards the far post, too wide, and bangs out off the far chain link fence. Try to set it up for a teammate at the far post. Well, it got too much English underneath it, and Tally could not get there in time. Now 10 minutes, or nearly 10 minutes elapsed. In the second half, Army still in front by a goal. 
Alien and Daunt. Some uh, contact there and a whistle against the Black Knights. 11 fouls against Navy, five have been charged against West Point today. This one towards the top of the 18. Ricochets around, ends up in the grasp of Navy. Drysdale, able to deflect it. Mids will have a throw in from the near side. Throw in for McCaleb. Red beautifully by Lindsey Smith. Sliding in front of Graziano will be another throw in for Navy. Army's anticipation in the passing lanes today has been marvelous. This one in the near post, Graziano trying to keep it in. And they say last touch by Army. And the mids will have their second corner of the second half. Amanda. Amanda Graziano going quickly, gets it to McCaleb, near side of the 18, trying to play it towards the middle, puts it towards the goal, but Sage Stroman is there with both hands. First official save of the night for Sage Stroman, and the Black Knights maintain the advantage on a great look from about 20 yards out. Joust towards the center circle. Drysdale and Daunt there. Play it back to Ritchie. Army looking to set things up from their back line. Navy keeping the four check on. Ritchie looking to lead a teammate. Almost got away from uh, the midshipman. But Tatum Kelly able to play it and send it out along the near side, giving Navy a chance to set themselves on the defensive end. Keep pushing on and let's go. Well, more than 10 minutes elapsed now. Duffy got it off her torso. Had a chance inside the 18, but cleared back out towards the fans by the midshipman. Another throw in for Army. Smith trying to get it to Tally. Headed out by Graziano, we'll do it again. Another throw in for the Black Knights, looking for Duffy. Duffy towards her left foot, had it taken away and again played out along the near side by Graziano. Army continuing to keep their foot on the throat of their opponent. Smith. Over to Tally. Tally playing to the inside, tripped up. They play on. Slide tackle by Smith. They play on again. Smith inside the 18. Now high up in the air. Tally trying to control it off the bounce. Plays it back over her head to herself. Tally against Herman. Smith looking to cross off the body of McCaleb. Stays in. Graziano ends up careening it off her torso. Another throw in for the Black Knights along the near side. Duffy able to find some space. Duffy to the inside. Duffy, oh, what a save! Maddie Gallagher may be saving the day for Navy as the freshman Bridget Duffy came close to her first goal assist match of her career. Oh, absolutely gorgeous cut to the inside. But Maddie Gallagher proving why she's one of the best, not just in the league, but in Division I. It'll be a corner from Army. Far flag towards the front of the net. Off the foot of Drysdale, puts it on goal too high. Some outstanding looks for the Black Knights. And if it wasn't for Matty Gallagher, this is a 2-0 game. Matty Gallagher, absolutely stupendous. That's the second highlight reel Sports Center worthy save by the mids keeper today. If Navy can 
force a draw or come back to win. She's going to be a big, big reason why. And that's not a knock to anyone else on the team. She's just that good. Took a great shot to the opposite end of where Gallagher stood. Her in to provide the only goal of the night. Free kick for Army. Batted by Dawson. Duffy, far side. Two Navy midshipmen around her. Played away. That'll be another throw in for Army. Black Knights, over the last five minutes or so, living in their attacking third. Another look on this amazing save by Maddie Gallagher. I mean, maybe two inches further to Gallagher's left, or rather to her right, Duffy's left. And it's 2 nothing. Got a couple of fingertips on it. That's all it takes. Using every inch that her wingspan provides. Army continuing on the attack. Gonna get it to the near side. Bad touch taken away by Herman, but again, Lindsey Smith. It'll be a throw in for Army. Lindsey Smith, just magnificent. Onto the pitch for the Black Knights. Madison a left push. foot, Replaces and then uh, the ability to keep her momentum and stay upright. It's not only her ability to, to make defensive plays like that, slide tackles as Nybish will check in for the Black Knights. But her body control, her balance, really as impressive as it gets. Especially with all the contact she's had to absorb. Another throw in for Army. They play on. Smith working towards her left, trying to get it to a teammate in Nybish. Rolls into no man's land. Bradley able to get it to Fontana. Let's go, Jordan! Set things back up towards the center stripe. Not a great ball off the foot of Army's back line. Navy trying to leak out the other way. Drysdale and Bradley making it difficult. Navy not really been given any room to cleanly operate today. Black Knights plugging holes left and right when they can. The midshipman looking. And sniffing an opportunity up along the far side. Riddle, a massive collision, still barreling out along the left side. And oh, what a play by who else? Lindsey Smith inside the 18 to save a potential equalizer. And thankfully, after everybody collided just inside the 18, everyone's back up on their feet. Sage Stroman and Alexa Riddle giving up their bodies for their respective squads. It'll be a corner for Navy. Or actually a throw in for Navy from the near side. Towards the near post, up in the air, put on goal wide right. A bouncing ball. And Healy's attempt a smidge to the outside post. And the Black Knights one goal lead stays. About 18 minutes have gone by in the second half. Army out shooting Navy 12 to nine. It is 4-1 in favor of the Black Knight shot on goal. 6-4 Army in terms of corner kicks. Riddle along the far side, nicely done by the Black Knights defensively. Navy trying to keep the pressure on. Abisham, the far flank to the left side, nobody home. Tried to cross it, but had no one on the near post ready. Potentially fire one towards the back of the nylon. It'll be a goal kick for the Black Knights. So after Army kept the pressure on, Bridget Duffy robbed of a goal on a magnificent save by Matty Gallagher. Since then, Navy's come storming back and a foul against the midshipman. Using too much of their hands, trying to leap for the goal kick. The 
capacity crowd here at Malik on a Saturday night. The Army women trying to complete what the men started last weekend at Chester, Pennsylvania. And out of victory in the star match over Navy. Drysdale. Fakes one way, goes the other. Plays it out to the right side. Smith. Smith has an angle looking to cross. Puts it towards the goal. And Navy almost put it in their own net. Just a bit high. They were trying to clear it. And it was maybe about two inches tall from banging off the crossbar and in. And the Black Knights will have another corner kick from the near side. Let's take a look at this again. And yeah. That was off a Navy player's right foot. And thankfully for Gabera's midshipman, that ball had enough air underneath it. Army another corner from the near side. A whistle. The official talking uh, with Dara Murray of the Black Knights who is standing or trying to impede the vision of the keeper Gallagher. This one off the right foot, out swinging. Pins towards the far post and the far side. Army will keep possession. Riddle trying to chase it down. And it'll be a throw in for Navy. Just opportunity off the corner for the Black Knights. And another whistle and now a foul on Navy. Just when you thought the mids caught a break. You see the Black, or rather the midshipman bench in disbelief. That their 28-year assistant, Rob Blank. The Army on the free kick. A little more than 20 minutes in to the second half. This one towards the far post. And reeled in with both hands by Matty Gallagher. Three saves for Gallagher today but has faced a whopping 12 shots. Again, Army keeping the pressure on off a Navy goal kick. Nybish working on McCaleb. Plays it over to the far side. Dara Murray had a hat trick earlier this year. Fontana tried to lead it to the far side. Navy an excellent defensive play, but that lead pass trying to Clear it down the other end, ends up right on the foot of Sage Stroman and the Army keeper. Nearly a handball, nice job by Palian to keep it. Nivish from about 30 yards out and picked up on a bounce by Gallagher. They continue to make Matty Gallagher work, who has had a busy day in that red goalie kit for the mids. That one probably one of the tamer of the shots she's had to bring in. But they have come in droves throughout the course of the evening. Navy's had their fair share of counter opportunities. The Black Knights have been up to the task each time to this point. Drysdale. Beautiful read to Lindsey Smith who has some space along the right side. Smith inside the 18 looking for an angle to cross nice defensive play by McCaleb trying to chip it towards the near post headed back out Smith this one skyward out towards the far side Dara Murray will run it down before it goes out on, 22 minutes or so remaining Nivish towards Paley and another shot deflected off the legs of Tatum Kelly Herman, Kelly, and again Lindsey Smith steps in the way of a pass. Army West Point's black line. Back line has been just magnificent. Use that phrase a lot tonight. But it is well deserved on both ends. Some Herculean efforts. Dara Murray will sit Elise Urkov. Made the start tonight back in for the Black Knights. Jenna Daunt back in for Alexa Riddle. And number 14, Keith Williamson, replacing number three, Jenna Daunt. Kiefer Williamson has come on as well for Navy. You throw in for the Black Knights in front of their bench. 
Jordan falling wider. Gave the Black Knights some great touches in the first half. Another job by Navy to just try and clear it down and try and create some pressure with their own four check. Dangerous touch there from the Black Knights on towards the goal. And Stroman able to get it out of harm's way along the far end. Nearing about the 70th minute out of 90 this evening. Throw in for Navy. Again, Redwell by Army defensively as Navy tried to corner it, or cross it, I should say. But Navy caught a little bit too much of the shin. It'll be a goal kick for the Black Knights. At the moment, are in no rush. You see the swath of people behind both goals. A standing room only kind of night here at Malik. Credit to the cadets and their families. Advertised at the football game today. Now Caitlin Palian looking for two. Palian inside the 18, and oh, what a save! And a diving stop on the rebound by Gallagher. Matty Gallagher once again. Her second outstanding save on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity in the last 10 minutes. First was Bridget Duffy, this time Caitlin Palian, who just could not find a way to get it further to the keeper's left. What a night off the bench for Palian and Duffy as Army called for a whistle. Drysdale to foul on Daunt. Would have been another Army takeover, or takeaway. Inside, 20 minutes to go. Dawson towards the six. Headed away outside of the box and into the grasp of Palian. Once again, Army able to get it out of harm's way quickly and trying to turn it into a counterattack back the other way. Here come the Black Knights. Urkoff tripped up, and who touched it last? It'll be a goal kick for Navy. Crowd trying to will the officials to another corner. Beautifully done by Navy to come from behind there. That time it was Jordan Townsend to make the defensive play on Urkov to quell the breakaway. Urkov trying to keep it in along the far side, couldn't. Be a throw in for Navy. The Shipman will make another substitution. Graziano back in, Isabella Romano, one of the local uh, products from Syosset, New York, her twin Isabella, and her twin uh, Emma, I should say, on this roster as well. Part of the gifted freshman class for the mids. Lost a bunch from last year including Victoria Tron, who was named uh, one of uh, NCAA's top 30 women of the year for 2022. Uh, very high honor, so congratulations to Victoria Tron, class of 2022 for the midshipmen. On the NCAA's top 30 women of the year. Out along the far side. And they say last touch by Navy. Be a throw in for the Black Knights. Tron was a robotics and control engineering major for the midshipmen. Only Patriot League player to be honored with that distinction in the top 30 for the 2022 calendar year. Congratulations to Victoria. Representing not only her country, but the Naval Academy beautifully. A fight just outside the 18, and it'll be a throw in for Navy. Richie thought it was out off of the mids, but the Black Knights don't get the benefit of the whistle. Navy will make another substitution. Sadie McKayla back in, Jordan Townsend. Made a nice defensive play on Army's last chance. Back in for the midshipmen. Come 
And a throw in from the far side. A lot of air underneath it towards the near post in the front of the net, but nobody home for Navy. Where Lauren Drysdale can calmly pull it up along the near side. Nybish pressured from behind, but able to get it back down to the other end. Or Tatum Kelly sends it in the other direction for Navy. Beautiful play again. A great ball by Drysdale to Fontana. A first deconnection between the two. Fontana, great defensive play, and Army crowd not pleased with the whistle there from the official. Free kick for Navy with 16 minutes to go. I guess it was that left leg bump from Fontana that drew the whistle from uh, the referee. It'll be Dawson. To let it fly from just on her end of the midfield strike. Over to the far side of the 18. Abisham gets it on the ground, but didn't get enough on it. And it's scooped up by Sage Stroman in the Black Knights. Navy. Nine shots tonight. Army with 15. Despite the low score, both offenses very opportunistic. Under the lights here on the foothills of Bear Mountain. Another great play from behind by Lauren Drysdale. Elise Urkov trying to win a race against Chloe Dawson to the far side. And Dawson will send it in the direction of her keeper. <laughs> Navy trying to work that strong right side. Led Abisham a bit too much. They'll play it on the direction of the goalie. Stroman. Again, working that left end. And a bad ball by Navy ends up in Nivish's possession. Trying to lead Urkov. Urkov with two on her. Gets to the left. Puts it on goal. Another amazing save. A second try. This one finds the back of the net. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. An Army West point with under 15 minutes to go. Have taken a commanding 2-0. Park, New York. Her second goal of the Patriot League season couldn't have come at a better time. Another incredible save by Gallagher. She prevented a rebound on the previous attempt, but this time Kaylin Bradley was there to fire it on home. An Army, a 2-0 advantage with under 15 to play. Another turnover as Army continuing to burgeon confidence. Looking to end a three-game slide against their rivals. Army is it done. They're looking for more. Urkov, and that one played up nicely by the keeper, Gallagher. Goal, number eight, Kaylin Bradley. Bradley. Indeed it was, Kaylin Bradley, the sophomore, getting it done. We take a look once again. Navy looking for an answer. We'll get you that replay in just a second. But Navy trying to find a counter. But Sage Stroman there once more for the Black Knights shuffling right. Now we take a look once again. Urkov, a great sprawling stop. Bradley controlled it. Another leaping try. By the way, the fact that Gallagher was able to make the one save even with the ground, then was able to get back up and even give herself a chance towards the far post was incredible. She is that good, folks. Even despite the score. That is some kind of athleticism to even get a try on that second shot. Navy, after Army misjudged, Abisham, Graziano looking, oh! Another play, Lindsey Smith. Just call her omnipotent, she's everywhere. 
And the Black Knights maintain a two-goal lead with under 13 to play. Lindsey Smith, right foot, left foot, doesn't matter. Slide tackler extraordinaire. Throw in for Navy towards the near post. Loose ball, bodies on the floor, and a whistle against Navy. Sadie McCaleb tried to hide her emotion, could not. And you can understand the frustration from the midshipmen here this afternoon. Charged for nearly twice as many fouls as they are accustomed to, or at least have averaged this season. Had some good looks on goal, some incredible saves by Gallagher, their keeper. But a marvelous fired shot by Palian in the first. And an even better rebound by Bradley in the second. Has given Army a two goal lead. Drysdale makes a move to her right. Try to get it back to the far end of the 18, but nobody home, Navy there to get in the way. Drysdale. Working against Daunt, and Daunt a little bit of a face plant. Army crowd thought it was a tad of an acting job. But the mids will have the free kick with under 11 to play. I don't think you have to tell anybody who's been around the Army-Navy rivalry until that final buzzer sounds. Anything can happen in Navy. Hoping for at least an opportunity to tie. And oh, what a save by Strowman! About a 35 yard right booted look by Katie Herman. And Sage Strowman, with one of her most athletic saves of the day, will create a corner for Navy. But Sage Strowman proving she's got some skills in net, just like her counterpart on the other end of the pitch. Navy on the corner from the far side to Strowman's left where she made the save just a few seconds ago towards the far pin, headed twice and out. Riley Reeves and Katie Herman both in the vicinity on that near post. Replaces Lauren Drysdale. Lauren Drysdale will sit down. Bridget Duffy. Caitlin Palian will sit down. Bridget Duffy back in for the Black Knights. As is Dara Murray. Inside, 10 left. Army in front by a pair. First time the Black Knights have scored multiple goals in Patriot League play this season. Last time they did it, a two-all draw against the vaunted ACC opponent in Boston College on the road back in early September. And if you ask Tracy Chow, her squad couldn't have picked a better time for it especially as they continue to try and push for a regular, seas, regular season league title. Richie, another nice play. Dara Murray, a takeaway on Herman to three on three. Nybish, right side, puts it on goal and able to reach high into the sky as Gallagher once again. Make that seven saves tonight for Maddie Gallagher. A splendid takeaway by Murray, a great lead ball to Nybish. And Maddie Gallagher said, I'll take that. Eight and a half left under the lights. Army and Navy have split the first six star matchups this year. Whoever prevails in this final eight We'll have the lead through seven star matches this season. The Black Knights looking for a clean sweep on the pitch after the Army men won by the same tally last Friday night at Subaru Park, the home of the Philadelphia Union in Chester, PA. That one sprawling up along the far end. Great job by the Black Knights to keep it in. Navy. Errant touch there, and then falling down on the pass, Michaela Lindsay Smith forced Graziano to be unable to make a play on it, and Army takes possession. Lindsay Smith might not show up big in the stat sheet today, but she's been as important as any player in white for the Black Knights. Bridget Duffy 
Trying again, looking to cross towards the front of the goal, off the right foot of an Army player, trying to settle it down. That one ricocheted wide. Now it is Fontana playing it over towards Nybish, and Navy able to clear back towards the center of the pitch. But well, Abisham just trying to get it out of Army's grasps. Sends it out along the far side. Jasmine Talley back in for the Black Knights. Jasmine Talley replaces Madison Nybish. Nybish will sit. We're under seven to go. Army looking for their first win against the midshipmen since the Patriot League quarterfinals in 2018. Another Navy turnover. Ends up with Murray. Murray looking for Tally, left it behind her. Well played by Sadie Mikhailov and Tally and Mikhailov a loud collision. Graziano arguing for a whistle that never came. Uh, I think Graziano did have a point. As that was quite a uh, large left shoulder shiver from the Black Knights. Caitlin Palian, who had the first goal of the game for Army back on. Elise Urkov will sit as we're now inside six left. Here at Malik. Kira Vesey on for the Black Knights. Fontana. And the Black Knights right now playing a sophisticated game of keep away. And to this point, they've done a great job at it, although a turnover there into the legs of Katie Herman. Raziano trying to lead Abisham, and Stroman slides in in front of the Navy forward to take away an opportunity with five minutes to go. Stroman's made some big plays in net when she's needed. She's also come out of the six to make some great stops as well for the Black Knights today. Fighting at the center of the pitch. And a whistle against Army with under five left. Crowd not pleased. But they play on. Tracy Chow, third season at the helm for the Black Knights. Within a, an arm's length at this point of her first career victory over Navy and would be her first career star victory over the midshipmen as well. Be a free kick for Chloe Dawson. Towards the six, headed towards the goal. Oh, and just wide left. Thought off the head that one was headed towards the nylon. It did not miss by much. Tatum Kelly might have been the closest to it. Well, credit to shot to Riley Reeves. But Army maintains the blank sheet. It was a great ball by Dawson. And yeah, it was Reeves just spinning left. Thought off the head, the trajectory was right. The throw in for Navy, four minutes to go. As you would expect, Karen uh, Gilbera's club refusing to make this an easy push to the finish for the Black Knights as they clear it up along the left side. Bailey and on a race against Tatum Kelly. Inside, four to go. Army looking for one more to close out a magnificent night in front of a sold out crowd. Tara Murray against McCaleb towards the far post. Too long looking for Jasmine Talley. Great idea from Murray and Talley. Be a goal kick for Navy. Running out of time with just about three minutes to play. Army has earned just one victory in the last nine meetings against Navy since 2014. Two draws mixed in between. Navy's won the last three in this rivalry series. But Army West Point Right now, inside 180 seconds away from ending that losing skid. Duffy working against Herman. 
Duffy still challenged by Herman. And Daunt plays it towards the far side where Fallenweider keeps the pressure on for the Black Knights. Again, Army just refusing to stop putting their pedal to the metal towards the top left, 90 and just missed. Oh, what a beautiful ball from Bridget Duffy. Doesn't have a goal tonight, does have an assist. Two, or rather three, I think, at this point. Amazing looks from Duffy. Talk about the future being bright. Already is for the Black Knights. Two minutes left here on this Saturday evening at Malik. Sally working against Williamson. Williamson over to Herman, taken away again. Who else? Bridget Duffy. Herman's down and hurt. Tally trying to play it to a teammate and picked up by Williamson and with a minute 38 to go the clock will stop as it should and Katie Herman is in some pain focused on that left leg her teammate Riley Reeves over immediately and hopefully at least based on what Riley Reeves is trying to do was just a cramp for Katie Herman. You saw Herman try to keep going, lost her balance, and tried to crawl her way to stay in the play. You have to admire the determination to try and stay with that play, despite the fact that she was obviously not feeling at her best. Herman had a glorious career, the junior, all preseason Patriot League this fall. League's second team last year was on the all-tournament team back in the COVID year in the spring of 2021. And hopefully it is exactly what it looks like they're working on, which would be a, a cramp, nothing more serious than that. Not the way wanted to see this game come to an end for either side. You take a look back at a marvelous goal from Caitlin Palian that put Army in front. The feed from Bridget Duffy got the scoring going in the latter stages of the first half. And then Elise Urkov stonewalled by Gallagher. But as we said, if at first you don't tr succeed, try and try again. And Caitlin Bradley did exactly that, finding the left post and putting what appears to be a West Point dagger into the midshipman tonight. And Herman, with some help from her coaching and training staff, heading back towards the Navy sideline. And hopefully everything okay with Katie. And she can be back in action for the mids on Tuesday night. Quick turnaround for Navy. They'll head to Delaware State against the HBCU at five o'clock on Tuesday. 90 seconds to go. Army, this is their final home match of the regular season. They'll be at Bucknell next Saturday and then close the regular season a week from Wednesday against BU. And an offside will call, be called against Navy with 119 left, first offside charged against either side. Down to 70 seconds left. One minute, second half, one minute. Three this minutes. one flies down towards Army's attacking third. Jenna Daunt able to take possession. The big scores today, Bucknell a 1-0 win over BU. As the clock continues to run inside 40 seconds. So with that, Bucknell leading BU by a point in the standings. So if Army can hold on in these last 30 seconds, they'll be tied with Bucknell atop the Patriot League with 16 points. This one gets away from Williamson. Down to 20 seconds to go. McCaleb at the mid-stripe circle 
tries to play it on goal. Strowman comes coming in like a punt returner to make the fair catch. It's down to 10 seconds, to six seconds. Strowman's gonna let it fly, I'm sure as it ends. She does, and the three match losing streak is over. Army West Point has secured the star. The final score, Army West Point two and 